Greetings, Jer, construction supervisor. How is Pazair? In very poor shape. He can't even speak. I have brought him a remedy, concocted according to the counsel of Tuya, the healer. Do your best to cure our architect. We need him. This is the remedy prescribed by Tuya. I simply have to carry out the rite that she taught me. I only hope it cures Pazair as she promised me it would. Hekka! <gasps> Isis, protect me! The right is liberating evil forces. Witch, woe unto you. You are accused of high treason. Guards are going to arrive to drag you to face Pharaoh's justice. In the meantime, you are not to leave this room. Who are you to force me? An officer of Pharaoh sent here to arrest you. I don't understand the charges against me. You cast a spell over Pazair to keep him from finishing the project His Majesty had entrusted him with. I am innocent! A lie! With my own eyes I saw you bewitch the great architect. I only sought to cure him. strange method of healing. Your evil spells have brought him to death's door. It's Tuya who is responsible. Slander. Tuya did her duty by denouncing your plot. Pharaoh will know how to reward her. I've spoken enough to you. Too far. This is useless. sense of Osiris paralyzes my enemies as long as it keeps burning. I've got to leave this house before it is entirely consumed. The gods said his servant Tuya have achieved their goal. Egypt is a prey to chaos. The obelisk has not been set up. Pharaoh is going to perish. Oh, the 
that fearsome vision again. The gods are showing me what will happen if the obelisk isn't built. I have to do everything in my power to prevent the gloomy prophecy from becoming reality. But what can I do? I absolutely must procure some help. A friend of yours wants to speak to you. He's waiting for you in the storehouse courtyard. What friend is this who wishes to see me? He did not give his name, but he must be a powerful person. His face and the way he bears himself command respect. Where is the storehouse courtyard? Go out of this courtyard, follow the wall on your right, and turn into the first courtyard on the right. Thank you, Jer. Hamwaset, you appear just at the moment I desperately need help. I was aware of your appeal even before you formulated it, and my spirit came to you at the speed of thought. Do you mean that you are not actually present? My body remained in Memphis, asleep in front of the altar of Ptah. But my ethereal double is here, across from you. If you are hesitating about what to do next, then ask my advice. Help me, Hamwaset. Tuya has betrayed me. She had me arrested, but I was able to escape. I know all that, for well, the gods reveal to me that which is hidden. Tuya has made a pact with Set of the Jealous Heart. The god reinforced her power. She has become his instrument. From the outset, they've sought to delay construction and to defile the temple dedicated to Amon Re. As soon as Tuya gets over her paralysis, she will try to desecrate the Naus. You must vanquish her to make sure she can't commit that abomination. She will surely use the fire of Set against you. To protect yourself, use this charm that I offer you for invoking rain. Hazair is close to the end. Shouldn't I take care of him first? You won't be able to approach him as long as you've not beaten Tuya. Couldn't you confront Tuya instead? You forget that I'm not physically present. In this condition, spells I cast have no concrete effect. They wouldn't harm Tuya. I'm not yet ready for a duel like that. Teach me to counteract Tuya's spells. We will go into training. I am going to cast an offensive spell. You have to find one among those you know that will defend against it. Don't worry. It's only an exercise. My attacks can't injure you. You can make a mistake at no risk and start over as often as necessary. What spell do you want to learn to defend against? The hypnotizing cobra? The magical net? Or the Lotus Transformation? Teach me to counter the Cobra of Hypnosis. Stay, Maya. May the fire of the Goddess Nechbet turn you to stone. That's not the right spell. Better try another. Be purified by this offering. One 
wonderful. You understood that you had to purify your opponent to counter the hypnotic spell. Are you ready to start training again? Tell me how to resist the magical net. Attendance of the cords bind my enemy. That's not the right spell. Better try another. That's not the right spell. Better try another. Breath of life, aid me. Very good. From now on, you know that the blast of the wind will keep Tuya from tangling you in a magical net. Are you ready to start training again? I'd like to suspend training. There's a crazy rumor going around. You bewitched Pazer. It's a lie. I'm ready to believe that. Don't worry. I won't turn you over to the soldiers who are looking for you. Let me enter the temple. Tuya is alone in the Naos and doesn't want to be disturbed. She'll be furious if I let you come in. The fate of Egypt depends on it. I saw it in a vision. Dreams and visions can easily deceive those who don't have the keys. I'll only let you in if you correctly interpret a dream I had. Since you doubt my knowledge, test me. I was sitting on the edge of a lake when I saw three cats come out of the water. The last one was big, very fat. The beginning of your dream indicates that in three summers, the harvest will be particularly good. Cats moved away. I got up and discovered that my backside was naked. You will lose your parents. A big crowd was surrounding me and jeered at me. I climbed to the top of a high pole that was there. You will have the support of the gods, and because of that, you will rise above common folk. Then I saw myself drinking a bowl of wine. You will live an honest life. As I was wiping my mouth, I saw that my face had changed. It was now a leopard's face. That was the end of my dream. You will gain authority over people. Your interpretation is the traditional one. As promised, I'll let you in. Could I convince the laborers at work in the temple to let me pass? There's no point discussing with them. They understand nothing about visions and dreams. Try to get by without them seeing you. 
One moment. Yesterday, I found this coffer at the base of a column. As I picked it up, a divine voice arose from the depths of the nows. It said, Give this object to the maiden whose wisdom you will have tested. Let her use it after the battle to remove the ferment of uncleanliness from the sacred stones. Now I understand that you are the maiden the voice was talking about. The coffer is yours. Take it. didn't see me.